everyone welcome welcome back heavenly father we thank you for allowing us to see another day and you always name i pray lord amen welcome back my beloved kings and queens i'm coming to you all today with another crafty vision segment for those of you who don't know me my name is joyce mcteer and uh, i am the owner and operator of la joy truck creation designs and today i'm going to show y'all how to do a pretty much a design using some trim that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So this is the trim that I purchased. And when I first bought it, I was like, oh, y'all already know I had an idea for what I was going to do with it. But so we're going to make some earrings. I did a, a short video yesterday showing y'all some of the tools, some of the items that you're going to need in order to make the earring. So let's go ahead and get right on into this. So you're going to need some paint, okay? And before I get started, let me back it up just a tad bit. Please make sure that you all thumbs up the video, okay? I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it, okay? Thank y'all so very much for that. So... I am using black acrylic craft paint. I purchased this from Walmart. You can find this at Walmart. I think this was like maybe 50 cent. A lot of times Walmart does have this on sale, okay? Now, you don't have to. This right here, damn it, y'all, my top. I purchased this from Amazon, woof, Amazon.com, Amazon.com is where I buy this, and of course, you know, you can get the Gorilla Glue anywhere, all right, so the next item that I purchased was this all, so this is called an all, A-W-L, and you can find this at Walmart, I believe I got this from Walmart, you may, you probably can find this on Amazon too, okay, you're going to also need some discs. You can get these discs at Walmart as well, or you can order these discs from Amazon, all right? You're going to need a piece of 20-gauge silver wire. If you have silver wire, if you don't, there's so many colors in here that you can choose from. <laughs> but I'm going to be using silver, and this is a bling clay rhinestone bead i think this is 10 millimeter you can purchase these also as well from amazon you're going to need a paintbrush of course your gorilla glue some gloves and your trim and you're going to need a fish hook okay so let's go ahead and get started okay y'all so the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to we're going to start we're going to add on our trim, but before we add on our trim, we're going to paint our wood piece, which I have already taken the liberty to do that. So you want to paint it on the front and the back, okay, both sides. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding on our trim. So you want to count down five spaces. So one, two, three, four, and five, okay? You wanna cut one, two, three, four, five, five spaces. Okay, and you wanna cut this like that. And you wanna do that one more time because you're gonna need, these are gonna be your end pieces, okay? So you wanna cut five more, just like that. And you're gonna have two of those. Okay, because you're going to have one on one end and one on the other end. But there are some things that I need to do to that before we get to that part. 
Now we're going to come down and we're going to cut two pieces. Uh, we're going to cut seven of these circles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we're going to snip this. Boop. And you want to do this two times. Okay. Okay, just two times. You're gonna snip right here, okay? And I'm gonna show you how this is going to go on your piece. So you're gonna have a piece right here, okay? Then you're gonna have a piece here, a piece here, And then this piece is going to go on the end, okay? Just like that. Now, in order for all of this to go and work the way it should work, you're gonna take these two pieces and you're going to snip one of these off on each end, okay? One there, one here, Okay, and you're gonna do that for both pieces. Snip there, snip there, here, and there, okay? These are going to be the pieces, your pieces, that's going to be, like I said, on the end. Now, what you wanna do next, you don't have to do anything with these, you just leave these just the way that they are. Okay, so you don't do anything with them. Now I'm gonna put my gloves on because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start gluing on my trim. I'm gonna open up my E6000. I'm gonna take my piece, come here, and I'm just gonna dab just like this. giving it just enough okay just like that and once you get it on here you take it and you come here And you just want to place it just like this on your piece. Okay. Try to make sure that it's nice and even, if at all possible. Okay. Look at this. And then you want to do the same thing. For this right here so you come here and you put a little here a little there a little here and there here and there here and there just like this right and you want to take this piece and place it right here. Now what you are doing, you gotta make sure that this piece and this piece lines up with this piece here, okay? All right, make sure that this piece, this piece at the top and that piece down the bottom is lined up, okay? All right, then you wanna take your second piece and you wanna come over here and do the same exact thing. Glue there, glue there, glue here. That's why you really should have your gloves on 
whenever you are working with this stuff because this stuff you don't even really want it on your skin all right and you place that there like that okay now you may have to let this dry okay y'all so this very last piece is very important okay on how you what you do with it now what you want to do is you are going to snip this end off and i'm going to tell you why before i even glue it on i'm going to show you what i mean you're going to place it like this okay you're going to place it once you glue it it's going to be placed like that now i'm going to be turning this this way that's the middle of your bead okay we're going to snip off this one right here so that when so that i can put on our wire because as you can see there is no space right now for me to put the wire so what you're going to do is you're going to come here you're going to snip this one off right here it doesn't matter which end this end or that end snip that off like that and then all I'm going to do now is put some glue on just like this all right now if you wanted to you could make these post earrings you didn't have you don't have to do this if you don't want to you can make them post and all you're going to do next is you're going to come here and you're going to bring this here and you're going to glue that like this okay and you're going to have your opening in your pretty much in the middle of your bead okay just like this now what you want to do is you're gonna you want this to dry you want to give that some time to dry okay so we're gonna give it some time to dry and we're gonna go ahead and get into the next part to okay, y'all so once we get everything all glued in right we let it settle you could have actually put the hole in your wood piece if you wanted to okay but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my awl I want to place it on my little piece here and I'm just going to come and try to get in the middle as much as possible and push this in to make my hole okay just like that all right, got a nice hole there. And then I'm gonna take my wire and just stick it through. I always go through the back. It doesn't really matter how you connect it as long as it's connected. And then for the back part, I'm just gonna bring these two pieces up like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wrap my wire, the front piece around the back piece, okay? So that's what I'm going to do next take my wire and pinch it all the way down completely like this and then all I'm gonna do next is just come and wrap it around that piece just like this All right, and you can do this as many times as you see fit, okay, for yourself. All right, and that's what we have. And then I'm gonna just come and take my wire cutters and snip right there. Now, if you want to, you can take the liberty and you can put a design on the back. Let's 
squeeze that in like this on the back of your earrings if you choose to you can put a, put a design on it and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add on our gemstone so we're going to slide this down like this pinch it over make a loop Okay, hold that over top and then just wrap this around a couple of times. Okay, get to the back here, just like that. And then I'm gonna snip this off. Okay. Come up here, and this is what you're gonna have. All right, now just like I said in the very beginning, if you don't wanna do this, you can actually make your, make these post earrings, okay? Also, if you wanted to, you could also take and glue on now this i'm just throwing this out there you don't necessarily have to do this if you don't want to you can take this and you can come here and you can put one right here to cover that space okay that's if you wanted to do that you don't necessarily have to if you don't want to you can leave it like this or you can take the glue and you can add a piece and put it right there okay and that's going, you want to do that before you actually put on your triple thick. So now I'm going to go ahead and add on my triple thick. And I'm going to show y'all something with this triple thick, okay? Now this triple thick is going to, in the beginning, in the very first beginning, when you put this triple thick on, it's going to look a little cloudy. But once... It dries, I'm gonna show you what it's going to look like, okay? So you just come here and you just add it on. And actually, I wanna say this, before you actually do the back of your earring, I mean, before you do any of this, you can put your triple thick gloss on the back of your earring as well, okay? You can put your triple thick on the back of your earring so it can have like a gloss look to it, okay? All right. Now this is pretty much what it is going to look like before it dries, okay? And then still even after it dries, if you want to, you can still Put that little piece right there that's completely up to you though whether or not if you want to or not these are pretty lightweight they're not they don't have um they got a little weight to them but they're not heavy heavy for your ears okay so once you put it on it's going to look like this okay and then you want to let this dry now this is going to take a good I'm going to say a good, maybe about 14 or 15 hours to really dry the way you want it to, okay? So you got to set it off to the side, let it dry. But before I do that, I'm going to add on my fish hook. And then I'm going to come back and show you all the end result. So add on your fish hook. Now this is what it looks like. See how see how it looks cloudy? All right. Now I'm going to show you the end result on how it's going to look once it's dry. Okay, y'all. So here is our end result. This is what it's going to look like 
after all of that. And like I said, you can take if you want and you can put some triple thick on the back. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a design on these. I'm gonna put some color on the back of them and uh, probably put these in my shop, y'all, to sell. So with that being said, and this is my prototype here. Now, like I said, you can make these into posts. You can flip the back and you can put a post on the back. Okay, if you don't want to cut it, because this one here has not been cut. I cut this one, but this one hasn't been cut. So you can do it like this. You can wear it as a post earring or you can put it and make it with the earring with the hook, okay? So I wanna take this time to say thank y'all so much for joining me for this Crafty Vision segment. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, and share this video. Share these, my videos on your platforms, y'all, you, for, for, to help as many people as, pos as possible, okay? Mm, Sometimes I'll be stuttering all over my words. Anyway, thank y'all so much for taking out the time to watch, listen, and for those of you who write a comment, thank you for your comments. Until my next upload, peace and blessings, y'all. Please continue to stay safe. See ya.